Hey clouds, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you guys how to create this entire look right here. Hope you guys are ready, let's go. Okay, so before we get started, I do want to show you guys where I got my inspo from. You all know I love the Kardashians, and I saw this look on her Instagram page. The jewels, the dress, the hair, just really everything. And that's going to be today's inspiration. This can be an everyday look, of course, without the jewels. This is the look right now. Or you could add on the jewels and wear something for a fun occasion or even Halloween since Halloween is coming up. Now, I do have the dress already. You guys actually saw the dress in my last vlog. I did like a try on haul vlog and I love that dress and this is a dress that really made it come together so I'm super excited for you guys to see the whole look even though you guys got a little sneak peek. But anyway, so we have the dress. I do want to go and grab some materials from Michaels like the jewels and I want to make some homemade earrings so I figured I would take you guys along and show you like the entire step by step on how to create this okay, look. So I just got back from Michaels and basically I just grabbed these earring hooks and then these are the already made earrings. It was super easy. Basically just bought these like it is. And then all you have to do is hook it in and tighten it up with some pliers. You have homemade earrings. Now Michaels had a lot of jewelry to choose from, but for some reason I saw these and I love crystals. So I thought it would be a perfect match for this look. And then these are the jewels that I'll be putting on top of my forehead. And by the way, this cost, I don't know, not even $10. So pretty good. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows. I'm going to prime my face with this VDL Illuminating Primer. So this look that we're going for today is very natural, but still full glam. It's not gonna take that long to do just because it's kind of like my normal everyday routine with a, just a little more extra steps. And we're just gonna focus on small details that will transform this look. Okay, now I'm going in with foundation. This is the Chanel foundation in shade 40. That's all you need. You always wanna rub the back of your hand. Make sure you blend in your foundation. Okay, and this is my Morphe Kabuki brush in the rose gold edition. And I just like to pat and bounce around, drag it down to my neck. We're going to focus on just blending because we want the makeup to look flawless. Okay, now I'm just going to fix up my eyebrows just a tiny bit with the lightest color. This is the Anastasia Eyebrow Pencil Brush. We're just going to... shape tape. I'm just going to cut them out. I'm going to use the rest of the concealer to conceal the lid of the eye. Okay, we're just going to blend so it doesn't look like a mess. What are some other Halloween ideas that you guys want me to do? This Egyptian goddess look just was like calling my name for the longest time. I'm literally dreaming of this look. Okay, so I just bought this new concealer. It is from Maybelline. It is the shade Light, which is number 20. Let's see how it works. I'm gonna get it all the way to the waterline, kind of. And we're gonna make like a triangle under our eye. You do wanna drag this down your nose, the side of your nose, just a little tiny bit. I kinda like this little brush just because it's easy to draw where I want to. And I like twisting and getting enough product. There's actually a lot of product in this little thing. Okay, we're just gonna lay that there for a second. I'm gonna look a little crazy. Take the Morphe bronzer and vlogger. I just like to mix both of them together. And then dab it off. We're gonna lightly start blending so I can start bronzing and sculpting and then blend and then do it again. Again, this is like a very natural makeup look with just some a little oomph. 
dress that I'm gonna be wearing is strapless, so I do wanna drag the bronzer all the way down. Now when I do this, this is just because I don't want my bronzer to go away after the blending of the concealer. So it just makes sense. Same bronzer, we're just gonna be lightly swifting it back and forth. Swifting it? Yeah. We always lay a base down. Always do this little guy right here, don't forget about that. And then this is what I do, just little tiny motions up and down. Always want to connect your nose to your eyes and then go down. And then also right here, it's gonna look so crazy. Just you guys wait. Okay, now time to blend. Just gonna lightly pat, follow the direction of the concealer. You don't want to blend too harshly or else it's gonna take everything away. We'll worry about that later bronzer you guys can see I didn't even blend in under here yet we're gonna save that I'm gonna use what's left over as the eyeshadow okay. now blend all the way blend 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 again okay, we're kind of done blending I'm gonna do a little bit of the eyes taking the same bronzer we're just gonna get a little darker just a tad, tad bit. Okay, now I'm just gonna do a tiny, tiny bit of blush. This is the Milani Blush in Vino. Actually, like Claudia, shout out to Claudia because she showed me this trick. I'm scared of blush, you guys know this. But she showed me if you just wipe off the blush before you put it on your skin, it's a little better and you can build it back up that way. So I've been doing that and it's really, really helped. So thank you again, Claudia. Go watch her YouTube channel. I always learn tips from every video of hers. And that is the amount of blush that I'm comfortable with. I'm gonna be doing the eyeliner and we're gonna focus on like having an Egyptian eye look. So I'm gonna drag the corner all the way up to here and this all the way over here. And this is my first time using this eyeliner. This is the Ellen Trace. Tracy liner. I'm gonna make it go up just a little more. This eyeliner was actually really easy to use and that was super quick. Now time for this one. this one just a little bit. Ooh, okay, it is a little watery. I'm going to put some concealer on this little brush, actually eyebrow brush, but I like to use it to line my eyebrows with concealer sometimes. We're just gonna fix the little spots that I missed. Always hard to get them completely even. But we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Time for some mascara. This is the Chanel mascara. We're just using this as a base because I am gonna be applying lashes. I'm gonna be applying these lashes. These are the Tati lashes. Just got glue everywhere. <laughs> okay, I love these lashes. They're so dramatic. I just get them and land them right where my, not my lashes, meet my eye. What I like to do is just sit here and pinch them. So while the lashes are still drying, I'm gonna do some highlighter. This is my SKY Beauty Co. Luna Skylighter, my favorite. Pretty, so pretty. It's creamy, but doesn't clog your pores, and it's super easy to apply. 
You really don't need that much for like an intense glow. What I like to do is I like to just pat and swipe it on and then I'm gonna blend it fully later. I have mascara on my finger, that's cool. The lip and the chin. And then I just like to get my finger and just blend it like this. Very simple. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking my SKY Beauty Co. Huntress lip. We're gonna do a little lip action. And I'm gonna be taking the Lip Gloss Princess, again, from my cosmetic line. I'm just gonna focus this on the center. This is like a pinky gloss. Gets you like a nice ombre lip. Okay, before we move on to the final touches, I'm just gonna put my hair down. Whoa, just got my other camera out. Should have been filming with this one the whole time. Now I know. Anyways, we're gonna move on to the jewels now that my hair kind of looks less crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking the biggest one. And we're gonna put that on our forehead first. Now the only problem with this is my hair needs to be parted down the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking my lash glue and as you can see, these stickers are from Michaels so they, they won't lay completely flat, but if you pick it off, then they will. I'm just gonna take the lash glue and glue the back. But I'm just warning you guys, if you do only wear this look for like an hour and then take the jewels off, you will have glue. Okay, so one. I'm only gonna do three. Okay, that's the... Now we're gonna take one of these little baby ones. My accent's on fleek today. And then the last baby one. Okay, now we're just gonna chill and let it dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna put on my homemade earrings. And the look is almost done. We just gotta tie it together with a dress. And the dress is on. So I'll show you guys a whole look right now. And this is the completed look. I just tied it together with this dress and these shoes. I hope you guys like it. Well, that is all for my Egyptian goddess makeup tutorial, which was inspired by Kim K. Let me know what you guys think of this whole video and this look in the comments down below. Give this a big thumbs up and also hit that red subscribe button because every sky needs our clouds. All right, clouds, I'll see you next time. Bye, I love you.